Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For our second video in the series discussion about atoms, we will be understanding the classification of atoms according to its present electrical charges which is ions and isotopes. But before we begin the discussion, if you would like to encourage us to produce more educational content, please show your support by giving a like to the video and subscribing to our channel. You can also help our team grow with your monetary support through our donation PayPal link located in the description below. We have previously learned that atoms are the building block of matter, which is practically everything we see in the universe. Atoms are made up of three subatomic particles, which are the electrons or the negatively charged particle, the proton or the positively charged particle, and the neutron or the neutrally charged particle. Did you know that the difference between atoms and elements is that element is composed of a distinct atom made up of a specific number of protons. This distinction was the basis to create the table of elements. From that, we basically know that the number of protons in every atom is distinct and constant, but the number of electrons and neutrons may vary. An atom with the same number of electrons and protons are called neutral atoms because with the same number of opposite electrical charges, it cancel out both of the electrical charges. But as we can say, the number of electrons may vary because an atom can gain or lose an electron. Once an atom carries a certain electrical charge, it is then called an ion. An atom that loses electrons creates itself as a positively charged ion called cation. Well, if an atom gains electron, it becomes a negatively charged ion that is called an ion. Let us take for example the hydrogen element. It is generally a neutral atom with one electron and one proton. Remember that the number of protons is fixed or unchanging. So how are we going to make this an, an ion or a cation? It is by removing or adding electrons. If we add an electron to the neutral hydrogen atom, it will then have two electrons and one proton. Then, net charge is negative. Thus, it is an anion. But if we remove the subatomic electron in a neutral hydrogen atom, it will only have one proton without electrons. Then, its net charge is positive. Thus, it is now a cation. There are two types of ions that we can encounter in real life. These are the monatomic ions and the polyatomic ions. The monatomic ions are ions that are made up of only one atom while the polyatomic ions are electrically charged ions that are made up of two or more ions. The table shown are the common monatomic and polyatomic ions that we can encounter in our lives. Now, those are just the concept of atoms when we vary the number of electrons. Its variation affects the electrical net charge of the atom, which created an ion or cation. This also means that the number of protons and neutrons remains the same as well as the atomic number and the atomic mass of the atom. But remember that it is only the number of protons that are fixed. So how about we vary the number of neutrons instead of electrons in an atom? This is the concept of what we call isotopes. Isotopes are two or more variations of an atom with the same atomic number. However, isotopes have different atomic masses according to their different number of neutrons. This means that isotopes do not change the element, the number of protons, and the number of electrons. Let us consider the element hydrogen again. We will take this as our example for isotopes because this is the only element that has named isotopes. But for clarification and emphasis, the element is still hydrogen. The isotopes are just given specific names. A hydrogen which contains its general number of subatomic particles which is one proton one electron and one neutron is called deuterium. Deuterium has an atomic mass of 2 and atomic number of 1. If we vary the number of neutrons in hydrogen, we could get protium and tritium. Protium has 0 neutron, atomic number of 1, and atomic mass of 1, while tritium has 2 neutrons. Atomic number is the same which is 1, yet an atomic mass of 3. And that is all for now. I hope you learned something from us today. 
Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.